Okay, so let's go over what we've learned about what happens to the determinant of a matrix under row operations. The first operation, a row exchange, what does that do to the determinant? That winds up multiplying the determinant by a factor of negative 1. It flips the sign. The second row operation, where I multiply a row of the matrix by some constant c, what that does is it multiplies the determinant by that constant c. The third operation, where I take some multiple of a row, add it to another row, that multiplies the determinant by a factor of 1. That is, it does not change it at all. And all of these row reduction matrices are obtained from the identity by doing the same operation. Now that last row operation that doesn't change anything, ooh, you can use that to your advantage if you avoid uh, rescales or exchanges. Take a look at this 3x3 three three matrix as a simple example. Let's row reduce that down to an upper triangular form and see what we get for a determinant. Now I've got a pivot in the upper left hand corner so I can subtract twice row 1 from row 2 and then add 4 times row 1 to row 3 to clear out the first column under the pivot. All I have to do is add 4 times row 2 to row 3 in order to get an upper triangular matrix and now boom all I have to do is multiply those diagonal terms together I use the fact that I never did a row exchange, I never did a row rescaling, the determinant has not changed. The determinant of this matrix is 18. For large matrices, ooh, is that a lifesaver. Let's take a look at a different example, a bigger example, where we wind up doing a lot of row switches. In that case, be really careful to keep track of how many times you do it. Here's a reasonable looking 5x5 five five matrix. Got a lot of zeros in there. Maybe this won't be so bad. Ooh, if I perform a bunch of row switches, switching rows 1 and 3, and then rows 4 and 5, and then switching 2, 3, and 4, cycling through there, I've got an upper triangular matrix. I can multiply those diagonal entries together, but I did row switches. How many? If you count carefully, you see there were four row switches, so I have four multiples of negative one, uh, negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one. Ah, that's positive one. That means the determinant is unchanged, and I can read off the determinant from the product of these diagonal entries, and I wind up getting, what is that? What is that, like negative 48, something like that?